guys? Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to anyone new from TikTok. I've been posting on TikTok and I don't know, getting reacquainted with some people who had forgotten about my channel. The comments are, they're, they're so funny. They're so sweet, really. Like I've been received very nicely on TikTok, so thank you. But some of the comments will make me feel so like ancient on YouTube because they'll say stuff like, I watched you years ago. I remember watching you a long time ago. And I always try to comment back to those people like, I'm still making videos three times a week, come see me. And I think I might've gotten a few. So anyway, thank you for being here, whoever you are. If you're the long-term, never left YouTube, continually watching videos here, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. But I did ask on Instagram yesterday, I was just kind of toying with some different video ideas. I thought I'll just ask, you know, what, what do people want to see? Um, uh, you love drugstore, you love a lot of things, really. There was a ton of variety in the requests, but um, both drugstore shop my stash and drugstore new stuff. Just seeing a lot about that, and I know there's been a lot of like Sephora sale related stuff lately from me and a lot of others, so I can see why maybe you want some drugstore now. So I'm just going to focus on some of the newer things that I have, um, just because I'd like to follow up some of these things I mentioned in a haul actually that was on my TikTok um, not that long ago, and I thought let's dive into those things. So my skin is all prepped and I'm sunscreened, and then I have this from Hard Candy. It's the Sheerly Me, if it'll focus, the Sheerly Me Tinted Moisturizer, and I have played with this a little bit. They say it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and is also vegan and cruelty free. Does it not have the shade on this? Oh, to 10. 210 was, I think, the lightest shade I could see there, which kind of confused me because this doesn't seem like overly light, the little color they're portraying right here. But like I said, I played with this a little bit and it is very sheer, so just a heads up. Sometimes you just don't know what you're gonna get with a tinted moisturizer. Here's my pearl-sized amount. I may go a little more. Yeah, I think I will, just given the fact that this one is so light. But isn't it crazy? Like some will just turn out to cover a lot more than you would have expected, and then some are just like next to nothing. I'm gonna take this flat top. Uh, this is throwing back to a Sigma F80. I have this gold one, and I was like, I'm gonna use that. I'm just blending it in on one cheek, you can see yeah, the skin looks even more dewy. It's giving a little tint of color, but just absolute sheer coverage, which I would say it goes like sheer, light, medium, blah, blah, blah. This is sheer. And I don't think there's any sunscreen in this, not that they mention. So a little more even, yes. More glowy, I can feel that extra moisture on the skin. Yes, I can. And this shade is even like verging on a little dark for me. So if this is the lightest shade they're carrying, I think that that's not gonna suit a whole lot of people who are lighter than me. So I'm kind of meh on this product, really. There's just so many products of this kind on the market these days. And I just don't think this is what you have to have, you know? Now, a drugstore concealer, there's not really gonna be anything super crazy new in this video. This is probably one of the newer ones that I have, and it's the one that you've seen me use before, the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Um, this I wear in the shade Light. This is a nice concealer. Um, this is definitely going to boost up our coverage a little bit. It's thin. It doesn't make you look too dried out, um, but it has nice coverage, as you're going to see. I probably applied a little too much there. Sometimes we just get carried away, and that's the only explanation we have for our actions. See, I'm using this big brush to kind of handle a lot of surface area, and then I'll probably go in with something a little bit smaller. I've got some wash brushes that are still hanging out in the bathroom, so I will say I am kind of on the B team here of brushes, at least for face. My eye brushes are here. See, look what that just did. That really took us up a notch. And then this little Sephora 57 is so handy when you want to really get in to those inner eye corner areas under the eye. Make sure there's not too much excess product around the nose. For powder, again, nothing crazy new. We're just gonna plug in a newish thing um, in the collection. This is Physician's Formula, the Butter Believe It Translucent Pressed Powder, which I kinda like, actually. It's got sort of a gradient of shades here. But overall, you know, I think it still comes under the heading of translucent powder. But that lightest white shade at the top is like a little softer, a little different texture. And I like how I can kind of reach up there for those shades when I set my under eye. And then I can just 
set the rest of my face with the whole thing. So setting T-zone still with the more like lighter brightening shades. I definitely do feel the need to set this because everything's so just juicy on my skin right now. Which is not a bad thing. Had a really fun weekend. Just like enjoying my children. Like sometimes, you know, when you got kids ages two, five, and seven, the door is open for a lot of chaos and craziness. Um, but we just, it, there was a lot of fun. I had some moments last night at dinner time where I was like, my kids are really funny. <laughs> just some of the things they said. I found myself laughing so hard. Anyway, now we're, we're picking up everything now and just kind of giving the whole face just a little, little bit of set. We went to a place called Castle Park over the weekend, which is a great, like, fun playground environment. This big wooden constructed castle and then all over the property there's like wizards and dragons and stuff. It's just like a park or playground. It's not a place you go to like pay but that was very fun. They really enjoyed that. This does smell like butter bronzer by the way. Just FYI but I like that little powder and I've got that all over. The face feels still really hydrated honestly like a little bit dewy to the touch, but not quite where we were at at the beginning. And then I've got a new bronzer. This is the Hard Candy Instant Summer in the shade Tan. Um, I think this was somewhere in the middle of their range of these Instant Summer bronzers. It says Mango and Cocoa Butter Infused, and this is really good. Really like this for a matte bronzer, you'll see. And they had, like I said, a little lighter, a little darker available too, but the tone is good. If you're looking for a good matte drugstore bronzer, I would recommend recommend it. It's smooth, it's pigmented, buildable in terms of the intensity. I'm getting a little kind of like up onto the cheek because it just feels right. You know, practically where I do blush, but also contouring a little bit with this. It's just a really nice shade. It's very effective. This has a little bit of like, it's a little reddishness in the undertone. Just very pleased with that. Now guys, we got a multitasker. This is from Neutrogena. It's the multi-use stick. It says hydrating multi-use stick. It's from their Hydro Boost line. This is in the shade Temptation. It was the only shade it looked like they had. And it says for lips, swipe on lips for a pop of color, blend on your cheekbones for a buildable blush, or use fingertips or a brush to smudge and blend on eyelids. I mean, do we want to take this all the way today? Color is kind of like a soft red, a little bit rusty, definitely some peach in there as well, like a soft warm red, maybe would be the best description. Um, well, that we're definitely going to pop it on the cheeks. It seems like it's going to be sheer, but let's see, I'm going to use this Sephora 56. It's definitely got some hydration in that texture, like a little thickness. This is giving me, I think, a really like kind of naturally blushed look. I'm just pressing it in. I'm not trying to pull the product too much across the skin, make it disturb what's underneath. Let's do a little more. We like blush on this channel, okay? I tell you, if you're dry skin, like skin feels supple. It doesn't really feel sticky because of this, but I think that's awfully pretty. I like that color a lot. Really nice. And let's go ahead and like swipe it on the lips. It's got enough hydration in it to pull off the lip and cheek thing. I always talk about how like sometimes there are certain lip and cheek products that just miss the mark on lips because they were too cream to powdery. This is not cream to powder. Oh, and I ate a blue raspberry blow pop last night while watching Idol and I still have <laughs> it like stained me, y'all. I tried to exfoliate away, wash it away. It stained me on the lower lip there a little bit. But that's pretty, it's kind of like a nude peach look on the lips. What if we did something just really casual and like took some on the brush. I just dabbed the brush on here. I just kind of like went up to the eye. And I know it's a little crazy. I don't have any like eye primer on at this point or anything. But see how like I'm basically hitting the crease and above? And it gives just a little warmth, a little something going on there. I don't know. I don't think realistically I'm going to be one who really uses this on the eyes much, but the lip and cheek is definitely working for me. Oh, she got some new highlighters. Believe Beauty. Um, I got this trio just from my local DG. One of the few parts of the line that I hadn't gotten before. This is the On Cloud 9 Luminizing Glow Trio. I love their powder texture 
and um, these are like no exception. Three for three here. Three really pretty highlights. I'm going to go to the middle one. This reminds me of one that I have in a single. And oh man, yeah, I had a feeling the skin was really going to grab this because we just put on kind of a dewy blush. But that's so nice. If you have not yet checked out Believe Beauty, like I have full videos devoted to this brand. I definitely talked about them when they first came out. And then like last year, I really had some moments of rediscovery with them too, like kind of getting back in. They have a really good foundation, terrific powder textures in their eyeshadows, blushes, bronzers, highlights. But like, look, look at that glow. I know that product isn't brand new, but some of the things in this video are gonna be more like new to me, okay? Meanwhile, on brows, not much is new, but I am gonna kind of reach for something I haven't used in a while from NYX here, this Fill and Fluff. It's one of those teardrop-shaped brow pencils, so a little thicker, and I have it in brunette. And then on the other end, you have like a micro-fine, like this little brush, like a little tiny artiste brush. I think I'll use that today because I haven't used it in a while. And then the slightly newer element will be the Thicket Stick It. It's probably the newest brow thing I have that's drugstore. Look how well that filled in really easily and quickly. Maybe a little more opaque than I would have wanted. But now I'm taking this little brush. I'm kind of hoping it picks up a little excess, you know? Gosh, I don't know if I want to use Thicket Stick It because I don't want any more color in these. That feels really good on my lips, that Neutrogena stuff. Neutrogena is a brand that is loaded, honestly, with hidden gems. Like, they're just not a super talked about range, but they have some great stuff. They've made great foundations over the years, and they currently have a really good, like, CC cream, really good coverage. Before I ever tried my NARS Sheer Glow, I tried the Neutrogena version of that, the Healthy Skin. There's one I'd like to retest. Now that I do have experience with Sheer Glow, I could tell you how similar they actually are. Okay, just raking through. The brows look th thick and large and in charge today, and a little more than I was going for, but it's fine. Let's use NYX Control Freak because we don't need to add any additional color. And just kind of fluffing through. Remember what I did? Didn't I do a whole video about Undone Beauty? It's a kind of newish, lower cost line from Ulta and they do a lot of things with like strips gradient type products they have a gorgeous highlighter a really good bronzer as well and I recently as I was doing my quad thing because I've done a video on great quads um, I wanted to try one of their quads and this is the curator eye quad in the shade outfit optional and I feel like this is not one of my fave quads but I, I want to work with it a little more I want to give it another shot because I've used it once and was wasn't like amazed but I think maybe I can do better with it and I just want to try it today and it really is like my newest thing eye wise drugstore eye wise I still have got some palettes I got that Too Faced Sunset Stripped the Urban Decay Wild Greens the new Patrick Ta Rose palette like I've, I've definitely got some high-end material and some of that stuff the crazy thing was it's like I didn't know about the Patrick Ta rose one before I did my palettes video. And I didn't know about the sunset strip either. Okay, so we've got matte seemingly right here, like kind of a matte dusty rose and then like bronze, taupe, and light shimmer. I'm gonna take that mauve color first because some of us like the nude barely their eye. I mean, I could see on the response to the Gwen Stefani quad, like a lot of you do enjoy that very like contoured eye. This, I can kind of see it. Very, very light. It's a little buildable. Sometimes you just don't know with shades of that tone. Some of them can turn out a lot deeper on your eye than you thought. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to go down to the bronze. Even though it's shimmery, it seems a little deeper than the other shade. And we're going to just work that in here. See, that's not too bad. See, that, that's a decent level of, of contrast there, right? Kind of wondering what my beef was with this quad. Okay, we're going to go to that same shade. I mean, it's not like a, a spellbindingly great eye, but the textures are smooth. It is what it is. You know, the shade choices are obviously light when they made this. It's called 
outfit optional. Nothing really wrong with that. I'm going to go to this shade right here, the shimmer. This looks like it's going to be our, yeah, that's going to catch the light a little more. Honestly, really pretty sheen on that one. Taupe fans, talking to you. Like, that's pretty. Sometimes things deserve a second shot. Another try, like, honestly, things deserve multiple shots, generally speaking. You can't always judge something by the first go-round. Now I'm going into this lightest shade, which appeared to be untouched. And just kind of letting it get even brighter right here. The textures are really nice. Um, what would I compare them to? I kind of feel like the Flower Beauty ones. You know me. We're going to see how dark we can get this darkest shade with a smaller brush. I just want to know. You know. I don't think I tried this the last time because that just built a little bit right here. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would like this. It's reminding me of the Gwen Stefani quad only going a little bit darker and more shimmer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use like this dark brown pencil from the Cookies and Dreams collection, the one called Cookie Lover, okay? Deep brown and it's got a little shimmer and this is going to be today's lazy liner. You can do a swipe of this. You really don't have to do anything to it because it just already looks blurred when you put it on. You know what I'm saying? Just go across the lash line. You don't have to be precise, but look how it gave me just a little boost there. Oh, if you're interested in a pretty darn good dupe for the Fenty Mother Lover lipstick, the nude. Got a nice little very finished, polished looking nude lip routine over on the talk. I don't know if anybody's calling it that, but... There we go. Nice little smudginess. Let's go under with it, too. I like these because they set... They're good shadow sticks, any kind you get from e.l.f. These, I think they're in the no budge line, yeah. Truly good. Um, next up is probably one of my newest, <laughs> newest mascaras, the Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity, which I do find is a pretty good curl holding mascara with continued use. I would rank it maybe not quite as high as like the Essence, Double Trouble, that one really held curl well. Pally Ray holds curl well. Superhero holds curl. Max Snag, for the most part, holds the curl. This one is good, but I'm not quite as amazed by it, okay? But I do like the way this builds up and just the overall look it gives my lashes. Probably better than anything I've ever tried from Milani. Some brands just really haven't clicked with me on mascaras. Oh, look, I got a rain alert and I didn't absolutely fall out of my chair. Yeah, I'm gonna get some rain. All right, but like Milani, there's a brand that hasn't made a mascara that's really worked for me. Revlon, just not vibing with me. And I know this is a statement a lot of you probably won't agree with, but there hasn't been much from Maybelline lately that I've truly loved. Even though some of that stuff has been viral, like it hasn't necessarily been my cup of tea. See, look how that built on that eye. Like that, that's pretty good. If you're new here, that's good for my lashes. <laughs> Lash type is straight downward pointing. We gotta do work to get them standing like this. So another coat and you really start to see the thickness. Really good. It can wanna get a little clumpy at times, so watch out for that. So there's like one coat over there. You can see I've got some length going and I do feel like it's done a good job of highlighting my individual lashes, not really chunking them together too bad. But then second coat, bringing the drama and the thickness. Really, it's kind of giving me like a superhero-esque look, you know, with that thickness. The thing is it doesn't build up quite as fast. And yeah, I do have to look straight down into my mirror when I'm applying mascara. Then it, your lid becomes stretched, your lash line becomes stretched away from the rest of your eye area and you can guard against getting a smudge on your lid that way. Honestly, this is a good everyday eye. We'll just use Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water on the lower lashes because frankly I don't trust this stuff there. I trust very little on the lower lash line to not smudge. And we've just gotten a rain alert, so. Are the brows bothering anyone else? Don't answer that. <laughs> I just feel like a little too much got in, and I don't think those little brushes do the best job of evening it all out the way a spoolie does. You know what I mean? 
the little dense brush that came on that NYX. The neat thing about what's in, been on my face thus far is that it's all been stuff that I've kind of sought out on my own hasn't really been PR. Anytime I see another person doing a video like that where it's stuff they've found on their own, it gives you a little better like indication of what they like, you know, what they're into. I'm trying to give my lashes a little boost here, but I do have one PR thing um, for the lips. Got these watermelon sugar lip glosses from Physicians Formula, and I kind of feel like maybe we should try them all on. It means I'm going to swipe off that Neutrogena, although that gave me some nice softness and moisture. This first one is called Sweet, so this is kind of like there's a pink, there's a dusty rose, and there's kind of like a true watermelon color. This one's called Sweet. Mmm, the smell is oh, so good, so sweet. I'm going to take a bite out of it. It's a brush tip applicator. Sheer. Thick-ish. Not terrible. Not annoyingly so. You're just painting it right on the lips with that little brush tip. Nice precision. Okay, real shiny. Again, the scent is marvelous. But you can see it's not quite as opaque completely as what you see in the tube. Hmm. I like the color. There's a slightly sweet taste as well, just FYI. I do like the texture. The texture is really good. I enjoy the color, but I'm not absolutely floored by that one. Oh, and proceeds support Earth Day, it says on these. This is the shade called Yummy. Oh, yeah. Getting a really good My Lips But Better, My Lips But So Much Shinier type of feel. Mmm. Oh, that's a love. That's an absolute love. Ooh, but I don't love when the brush hairs, the brush hairs are going, new, new, new. The color is gorgeous, though. I really love that shade. Ow! It's like bowling pins up here. Okay, we're going to take that off now and do the brightest one. This is the one called Juicy. Is it going to be anywhere close to this color, or is it going to be just really, really sheer? Mm. Awful sheer. Still giving something. I think a lot of your natural lip color is going to show through on this one. So, like, if you've got naturally rosy lips, it could be, like, absolutely on fire. My lips aren't that pigmented. But still, that's pretty. The most opaque was the second one. This one right here, I, I really like that. This one, I want it to be brighter. And this one, I kind of wanted that to show a little bit more color as well, a little bit more opaque, but they're still fun and they smell incredible. My main recommendation would be the one called Yummy though. So my friends, that is my look for today. Really just kind of natural and easy, fresh. Hair not done whatsoever, but just in review here, not thrilled with this. You know, this this was not a necessity. Knowing what I know now, I've got like a drawer full of tinted moisturizer BB type products that definitely are a level up from this. Drugstore wise, get the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. It'll give you a little more coverage than this. And it's still not like huge coverage or anything, but it just looks more like flawless all over. Just even better, okay, trust me. This NYX concealer was not new. It's good, I like it. It kind of saved the day coverage wise, honestly. Let's stick to reviews on the like newest things. I like this multi-stick from Neutrogena. I thought that gave a pretty cheek and I liked the lip kind of coordinating a little bit. It was nice. It was easy. Another top pick would be the Instant Summer Bronzer from Hard Candy. They redeemed themselves there. I really like that. My Belief Beauty trio of highlights. The Undone Curator Eye Quad in Outfit Optional. I could see this being a little eye quad a lot of people could enjoy. Like that look was easy to achieve. It looks really natural. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Gwen Stefani quad vibe, but with some shimmer, okay? So you know if that may or may not be your cup of tea. I saw people asking for dupes of that quad, and this is definitely not a dupe, but it's kind of a, a similar vibe. And giving it another chance, I like, I do enjoy it. And I like the Dusty Rose version of this watermelon gloss. Those smell so good. So thank you so much, my friends, for joining me today. Just a little drugstore roundup. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again very, very soon. I love you. Bye.